What is this? Finally, beautiful is gone. Think about umbrella. <laughs> I forgot that. Hello, hello. Afternoon. From the UK. And sunny. It's turning out sunny now. Yes. So. Just like the cafes. I don't know. Should we? <laughs> no, it's okay. We're in a shopping. Yes. Well, it's the only one we've seen down here in Cornwall. But it's got a car park outside the shops. Because it's almost impossible to park near the shops in town. Oh, so hard. These towns are very small and there's not many mm. parking and it's too full of people. Yeah. I mean, this is busy, but at least we've got to park and we can get into the shops. Mm -hmm. So that was good. So... So what this, happened this morning? Oh, uh, this morning? Mm -hmm. We just... Oh, yeah, we slept well last night. First yes. time, really. Yes. Uh, I did feel sleep like... I said I had to sleep immediately as well, yeah. I feel. Yes. So yeah. I wake up at 7 o'clock, maybe wake up at 8 o'clock, but it's quite warm. Yeah, the yeah. room was a bit warm. We're on the top floor of the hotel, of course yeah. there's no air conditioning. We did have the window open. Yes. But yeah. it was still pretty warm in the room, wasn't it? Yes. So, yeah. but anyway, comfortable beds in that hotel, mm -hmm. very comfortable bed. Breakfast good. Breakfast is nice in the hotel. I think this, I was called this brand. Harper yeah. Hotels, yes. they're very good. Yes. They're yeah, very good. Very classy and then... Yeah. I think someone comes to stay here, not disappointed. No, Harbour Hotels, there's about 15 of them mm. around the UK. Yes. So, I, I feel like Sofitel, that's what I feel. Yeah, it's good good quality, isn't it? Yes. Old buildings, though, yes. that have been renovated. Mm. So the lift was a bit scary. <laughs> scary. We are going to Padstow tonight. Today. Oh, today. <laughs> Tonight. Oh, we're, we're staying in Padstow tonight. Yes. Yes. I don't know where is it. I think it's... It's not very far from here. Are we in Wales? No. No, we're in Cornwall. No, Padstow is in Wales. No. It's in Cornwall. You know, I don't know what... Rick Stein. The famous... <laughs> oh, God, I need some of that water we bought earlier. Wait. I think it's about 12 or 1 o'clock, so everyone here. I think they go to lunch. Yeah, and the Marks and, Mark. and Spencer Cafe was very popular. Yes. And then, I mean, all the price, not expensive. No, Marks and Spencer, the price mm. is not too bad. Yeah. Oh, okay, talking about England. The British have so many dogs. They love dogs here. They love dogs more than their own family. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. One day you just say you want a dog. I've already said I want a dog. Yes, I know. Too bad we live in an apartment, so it's not easy. When yeah. you settle down somewhere in the country, you can do it. When oh. you're not travel anymore. What? Sort of when I'm nearly dead. <laughs> Stop oh. saying like this. Yeah. Okay, let's... How far well, we, we go? go? Well, let's see how far <laughs> Pato is for a start. How long it's going to take us to get there. You know, in England, they always have trouble with the telephone signal. Believe oh, me. It's terrible in places. It oh. comes and goes like... We went to... Had the fun of going to the laundrette this morning. Yes to wash our clothes because we only came with hand luggage we'd know we'd have to go for the laundry mm -hmm. so we had to get change from the man he gave us change yes but he'd only give us coins he wouldn't give you like and then you know, after you laundry it's not enough for the dry no you had to get some more oh, it's okay. oh it was like they don't have the, the car tapping you know, no the one in Australia no modern technology yes and the car park behind yes the machines obviously relied on a 4G signal as well, the parking payment machines. And so that didn't work very often. <laughs> and so <laughs> people couldn't pay for their parking. It was, yeah. all, it was all quite difficult, really. Yes, it's difficult. Yes. But we enjoyed our time at the laundrette. We were listening to the British ladies talk about their business. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I fun. think it's good, though. It's good for you to listen to British. Yeah. So, £35 for two people. And what I have here? It's 
a castle called Tintagel Castle, a spectacular spot on the coast and it is supposed to be the home of King Arthur, a famous English king. No one knows whether he really existed, although some people say he did. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. He had a big round table and his knights all sat around it because he thought it was fairer than having a long table where the king sat at the top and all the others had to have some sort of order down the table away from the king. Tintagel Castle. Yes, nearly halfway already. And look at over there. You can walk to side. Mm -hmm. Or you can walk down by that step. Cafe and toilets down there. Very old. A sword out of a stone. Nobody else in the whole of England could get this sword out of the stone. Are they real, really? This is the story, I tell you. Oh, so it's like a book or something? Yes. Look at the wheel. It's amazing. An amazing spot for a castle. How about an old bridge? Hmm. I don't know whether they had a bridge. No? Maybe. I think they do. You had to go down steps and... Across. They wouldn't have really wanted a bridge. Although how they rode out on their horses, I'm not sure, without a bridge. But I'll Google this one. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you the story. Okay. So the ships would come in from the Mediterranean bringing olive oil and wine. Where's a life I Where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know. Where's the life I Where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to grow up. Do I live my... Big wheel. Big wheel. And you don't see whales off the coast of Cornwall? No. I don't think so. Oh, that rain's nearly here, babe. What is this? Finally, the beautiful is gone. Yeah. They got the rain. It was a church chapel. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, we can go to the side. Yeah, I think we can go to that side. Raining now. Have you been thinking about umbrella? <laughs> I forgot that. It's okay, it's not too heavy though. After a very stressful drive down from Tintagel Castle back to Padstow, which is only about 40, 45 minutes, but uh, Google Maps takes you down some really, really narrow roads and there was quite a lot of difficulty in cars getting past each other. Fortunately, there weren't more cars. There was only, you know, four or five probably had to pass, but wow, these roads are difficult. Shame Google Maps, you don't say how wide the roads are so you can judge the route. They should do here. Anyway, we've arrived in Padstow. And because Padstow is quite a small village, they do parking for the hotels out on the edge of town near Tesco's. <laughs> and then you call and a very nice man in a Range Rover Range Rover, wasn't it? Land Rover Wallard. Oh, okay. Uh, I stand corrected to a Land Rover Wallant. Wallant. Okay. Um, whatever that is. Uh, picked us up and brings you straight to your room 
There are, I think, 10 rooms here at St. Petrox, but there are other places you can stay that he owns around Padstow. In fact, he owns, I think, half the town because people name it Padstein after Rick Steen, the famous celebrity chef. And his wife, Jill, who's Aussie, I think, designs the rooms. She's done a very nice job. Anyway, you can see around the room. Yes. So, this here. Oh. Old doors, they don't open well. Oh, they got umbrella too. Mm, that could be handy. TV. TV's quite small, but you know, people don't come here to watch the TV, I'm sure. The mini is good. And it's got real milk in it. That's an Aussie thing. What is it? Oh, gin. It's a local one by the looks of it. 42%. There you go, strong gin. Don't drink that and you'll fall over. Spanish wine, Rick Stein's wine. Everything's got his name on it. Oh, there's a plunger thing. Through there to a, quite a nice bathroom. Hello. And the, um, all the shower gel and soap and things by Jill Stein, Rick's wife. Everything has got the Stein name on it. But nice bathroom. The windows are open if you can hear noise outside because of course the one thing they didn't put in is any air conditioning, so, which is difficult in these old buildings. And tonight we have a reservation at one of Rick Stein's restaurants. He has several in town. I'm here and we're going to look at the harbour. We've seen a lot of harbours. A lot today, yes. We definitely have our dinner. Could have taken you there, burgers and fish. Yeah, I think it would be good. Doggy! I can see the dog there. Hmm. See, they even have them on boats. I know one thing I'm called. Yeah. Well, it's a very cute town. I see why people like it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's very, very beautiful, really. But it's quite cold. <laughs> it's cold, yeah.